I've been working a lot on this new version 1.6, which has been released this week. You have now, with one click, uh, the possibility to create uh, vertical bar chart traces beyond the classical horizontal and donut chart traces. You also have uh, a great uh, management of the color palette. Right at the beginning of the process, uh, with just one click, you select the color palette, and you will see that there are some improvements in the look and feel of the graphs that have been created. So let's jump into After Effects and see what's new. And at the end, I will also give you some tips on how to improve your usage of Barbachart. <laughs> After installation, you can find the barba chart in the window menu at the bottom. Just look for it. I have many versions. You will have just one, probably. Click on it. It will open here. You can drag and put it wherever you like in your After Effects window. So let me go through the UI interface because I've added some new features. So the title is always the, the, the title, it doesn't change. Second, this, this is the duration of the composition that will be created. This is the width of the compositions. The bar are pre-filled once you import your CSV file with the data. So let's import uh, the CSV file now. With the, the installation, you will also receive some uh, examples of uh, CSV data that you will be able to use in your first tries in the, in, with, the, with the script that will be able to adapt. Um, this is what happened once we have imported it. You see that, that the number of bars um, you have pre-filled with the six, which is which was actually the right number of the columns in the in the in the CSV file. But you can decide to uh, create a bar chart with just the first three columns so if you have issues or problems with performance for instance or you can just leave the six columns as as it is <clears throat> then there is this new field which is the palette the color palette uh, by default you have a blue gray orange green and crazy palette crazy palette is just random colors that will be chosen for you uh, and then uh, you have uh, to check box uh, full scale to have uh, uh, dynamic scale or static scale. I will tell you about this later. And intro to decide if you want an intro animation before the chart uh, race. Now let's uh, say that we want like uh, something like this and we can either click on the horizontal bar chart, the vertical bar chart or the pie chart composition. Let's click first on the horizontal bar chart. It's gonna take some seconds. Once the composition has been created, you will see that you have only one uh, line in your timeline which contains all the properties. This is a pre composition, but if you open it, if you scroll down, you see that essential properties uh, panel is available for you right here. And you have all the parameters that you can modify on this uh, chart trace. You see that you have uh, one. Um, color for each of the bars you can modify it uh, to adapt it to your needs if you want to for instance uh, highlight one of the bars you can do that by modifying its color and you can also modify a lot, a lot of different parameters you have a vertical configs which is used for the vertical bar chart mainly so you don't need to this horizontal bar chart label rotation modify the um, rotation of the labels, uh, bar spacing if you want more spaced um, lines, uh, if you want a rounder bar you can modify this uh, thickness, if you want thinner or thicker bars, you see that there are a lot of things that you can modify, the colors of the labels, uh, of the this white background, of this grey background, you can all modify it. Then you have the possibility to modify the scale, which can be either dynamic or, dynamic or fixed, you choose fixed you see that uh, it will be um, just a real value and will reach the biggest value at the end of uh, the race as you feel if you choose dynamic you see that uh, the bar with the biggest values is always taking 100 percent of the space and then you can also modify ascending descending in no order the order of the bars so this is uh, in a nutshell what you can do with the uh, all the parameters. You can also add uh, 
keyframes, uh, for instance, you if you want to start, uh, well, it, uh, this is just a stupid example, but you can start with the thickness of the bar 22 and then you can modify them uh, I don't know, like that. Uh, and you see that this can be executed. Now let's go a bit, little bit closer. And you see that the width of the bar is increasing. You see? So this is just an example, but you can do whatever you like with these uh, parameters here. So let's now test the second, uh, and the, which is actually the current uh, new thing in this version, which is the vertical bar chart race. Let's, let's uh, use another uh, CSV file like uh, this one. And then let's create, let's keep the same parameters. Maybe we change the color palette to orange, uh, and then we can yeah, keep uh, intro and full scale and click on create vertical bar chart. And you see that in four or five seconds, we have our composition created. It's worked the same way as the horizontal one. You see that we have a you know, brownish orange palette that you can anyway customize uh, here in the properties below and you have the same exactly the same parameters that you can modify on this one if you want to modify the duration uh, of the composition this is this can, must be done at the beginning uh, so i have a lot of questions uh, can you modify the duration afterwards no you need to do, modify the duration at the beginning before creating uh, the the chart Last but not least uh, is the donut chart race. So let's click on it. Let's keep the same, exactly the same data. And you see that in a couple of seconds, even faster than the other ones, you have our creation created. You see that it's moving. We are using exactly the same data as, as before. There are some differences in the parameters that you can modify in this version. Okay, you still have the colors uh, that you can customize, but you also have uh, the, okay, the roundness, uh, which is by default 20, but you can put it 50 if you want to have more sausages like, uh, or even more, uh, you see it, but you start losing the smaller parts. So you, you need to find um, a value which fits your needs. And then you can modify actually the width of the bars and also you can modify the legenda here the labels now are in normal mode if they are too close one to the other in this case they are not but maybe you have a lot of values and they are try to to go once upon the other you can either click on this one which will distantiate by rotating the label or uh, using the star mode which is absolutely changing a little bit but it's just putting the label on the on this in this uh, direction and this is the the version that allows you to have more and more labels uh, around and they are still working they are still animated the same the same way as before voila i hope you enjoyed my video and the new features that i've added to barber chart race script for after effects um, it's available for you in the description below you will find the link subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos about uh, after effects and premiere pro and uh, motion design in general so thank you very much and see you next time mm -hmm.